For volunteers looking for new voters, it's okay, crunch no. time. You registered to vote? Do you have your driver's license on you? Um, yes, I do. Awesome. This is just getting outrageous how many people are just really into this election. So many. I'm a local volunteer calling on behalf of the Republican Party of Florida. That in Florida, both parties have flooded state and county elections offices with more than 228,000 new voter registration applications in the last month alone. The sheer volume, along with the state's so-called no-match, no-vote law, has election observers worried that one mistyped number could disqualify a ballot. How many could be potentially thrown out? It could be in the tens of thousands in the state of Florida. For the first time, Florida law requires a voter's driver's license or social security number to match a state or federal database. It's done to prevent fraud. Several other swing states have no match laws, but none as strict as Florida's. Wisconsin dropped its own no match rule when a test run showed one in four voters would have been eliminated because of typos and other minor problems. Already we've seen that over 5,000 people as of this last Monday um, have had their voter registration applications rejected. The uh, county administrators admit that it's because of mistakes like typos and variations on people's names. Dear Tamika Collins. When longtime voter Tamika Collins applied for an absentee ballot, the elections office told her her signature didn't match, so she re-registered. I think I need to go in person and vote just to make sure that it counts. Have no record of you at all, sir. Local elections officials say they're trying to clear up the problems before November 4th. Our objective is to reach that voter as quickly as possible and resolve the issue. At the very least, they're hoping this election isn't a close one. Know. Kelly Cobia, CBS News, Largo, Florida.